First and foremost, lots of people don't know me. My name is Kent Rowe. I'm new to the camp. Just grateful and honored that we got the invite to come out to camp and do it for the summer, meet great people. And uh, yeah, and we really enjoyed it, me and my family did. It was uh, challenging to come over. It was hard to leave people behind, but we're grateful for it because we feel we were called for this season to do that. And we're just so grateful in how everything worked out and how to see God provide for us through it all as we want to honor him in the way we work. And uh, I just got a couple of verses from 1 Timothy 6 because now that camp is for, we're still wanting to fight the good fight. We still want to pursue and like put God first in our lives. And it is a fight because we struggle with spiritual warfare after we serve Christ for so long throughout the summer, seven weeks or whatever it is. And uh, it was a hard battle spiritually. And now it doesn't get any easier just because we're done. It's still tough, but we just, the main purpose and what we want to pursue is this. He leads me with nothing to want And He leads me along With His staff and His rod He is here to comfort But you, man of God, flee from these things and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. And the only way I'm going to continue to do this is if I stay in the Word and uh, just continue filling myself up. When I don't feel like I want to go to church or be around people that are good for me, I need that's when I need it the most, especially after like a season of camp or throughout the whole year itself. Just continual growth in our life is so important. And then to fight the good fight of faith, to take hold of eternal life to which you were called, about which you have made a good confession in the presence of many witnesses so many witnesses like i confessed all summer that i'm a man of god i want to i'm a believer i've shared my testimony and i'd like to do it again sometime but just the many witnesses of the young kids and stuff and seeing where they come from in their lives really helped me and changed me throughout the summer to see like it was just uh just a different atmosphere different camp different camp setting and just uh yeah i mean it was such a great time to see growth in kids and kids coming to faith and you don't even know what kind of witness you truly are until like people come up to you and say you impact my life and I'm like well that's God working through me so I mean I'm grateful for that and see that it helps me build my confidence that I'm on the right track and I'm just honored to know that especially when times are dark and tough like Especially times when you like, am I on the right track? Am I doing the right thing? And then God's like, he shows you that way. So it's just so great to see and encouraging and um <laughs> Thank you.
as we continue on throughout the winter and stuff, we just, I just want God to use me and continue to use me to be influences in people's lives that really want to hear the word and be drawn to it. And uh, yeah, so we're excited to see where that takes us. And just to apply it is just, I got to apply it into my home with my family and kids too at the same time. So it's constantly growth, constantly growing and just being that man of God that I want to be to honor him and to please him and to glorify him. And uh, when times get tough, just turn to him and good, like, good people he's put in my life. Always turn to God and uh, so thankful for that. And um, yeah, and really excited. I mean, it's not, working on yourself isn't always exciting. It's tough at times, it's not the best as I'm dealing with a lot of different problems in my life. But at the same time, it's exciting because you'll see growth, maturity, and uh, just seeing how you impact people's lives is so cool to see. So yeah, and I'm just gonna pray now for, for this. And uh, yeah, so God, we thank you and praise you for this day. We thank you how you worked through me and it's, I'm just so honored that um, I have a father that looks after me and uh, looks after my family and my friends and using me and God I just want to be continue to be obedient as I fall short and I want to confess that as well at times and I get into those dark places Lord but you're always there and you secure me in faith and I'm just so grateful for that and uh, you love me and you're there whenever you need me the most whenever I need you the most so I do pray for that I pray for people in my life that you just continue to use them to um, encourage me and build me up and especially your word encourage your word and build me up in your word and through prayer and just that constant reminder is I need you more than anything to fight this battle so I thank you and praise you in your name amen No, it tugged. I saw that tug. <laughs> oh, it's a big one. It is, yeah, just take your time. Just to pull it up and reel in. Oh, you got a huge one, man. <laughs> oh, you got a monster. <laughs> oh, no way.